In colorectal cancer, I think the news now are novel agents. This is actually quite exciting because we haven't seen a new, novel, a new agent in colorectal cancer for the last seven and a half years. The last agents that were approved, new agent classes, were so it took some map and bevacizumab in February of 2004. Since then, we have seen a stagnation of development, drug development in colorectal cancer. And the most important news was actually the discovery that KRAS mutant tumors had no chance to respond to uh, EGF receptor antibodies like cetuximab and panitumab. Now, this has changed this year. We have two novel agents that really will make inroads into colorectal cancer, a flibercept a VEGF-A ligand inhibitor uh, plus VEGF-B and placental growth factor inhibitor, which has shown to be effective in second-line therapy when added to Folfiri. I'm sure this drug will get approval from, uh, from the FDA because it improved overall survival in the setting. Most recently, actually, with a press release last week in Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg, we get more of our medical news now from these uh, stock-related news agencies than from medical journals. Um, a drug called regorafenib uh, showed uh, overall survival benefit when compared to best supportive care and placebo in a last-line setting, in a patient setting where patients have run out of clinical options, they've progressed on bevacizumab, EGF receptor antibodies, irinotec and oxaplatin, and 5 -FU. These are patients that are clearly at need. We now have the first oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor, regorafenib, which provided overall survival benefit. We'll see the data at ASCO GI 2012.